So I'm here in Jamaica and I'm hoping to eat all of my favorite things. Ooh. I'm talking beef patties, Escovich fish, oxtails, tripe and beans, brown stew chicken, stew peas, everything. Mm. I'm gonna meet up with my boy Andre. He's gonna take me to the grill to show me his restaurant, Miss Lily's. So what are we eating today? Seafood, okay. fish. We're gonna get it three ways. Okay. Curry, steam, and fried with escovitch. Okay. And of course, all the trimmings, unlimited size. Nice, nice, nice. nice. That's I what I want. You, this trip you're gonna gain 10 pounds. At okay. least 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Yeah. Your style and your menu is really inspiring because our chefs from that background, West African, Caribbean, Jamaican. You know, we're somewhat scared to really put that mm -hmm. on the forefront mm -hmm. as a casual or even a fine dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. Some people will perceive that food as being cheap food. When I opened Kith and Kin, I remember being in a boardroom full of white people and saying like, okay, I want to do Afro-Caribbean food. And they're like, what is that? Give me examples of other restaurants like that. And I couldn't. So like when other people are doing that, they're going to be like, Chef Hoss? Uh, Sean, Chef Sean, yep. you know, Kwame, JJ, they're gonna be able to say all these people that it's a proven concept, you know? And, and I think that's what the beauty of what we're doing right now. It's not just for us, it's for everyone that's coming after us. And we have to stand up, we have to keep pushing. Of course. Because no one else is gonna do it, and we've learned that from, from watching from afar, right? Absolutely. Three whole Festival. fish for two whole heathens. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Are you stuck yet? We woke up at about 5 a.m. and the captain pulled up right to the shore. Stepping on the boat and knowing that I'm about to go five miles off the coast, spearfishing in the coral reefs, is insane. We're swimming around for about 20 minutes and I'm holding this gun and I see this lobster under the coral reef. So I have to swim down all the way to the bottom. Now my goggles are filling up with water. I'm running out of breath, but I hold on because I know the prize is so close. That one, baby. Yeah. Woo. I feel like a champion right now. Yo, and I hit that lobster. Yeah, that was a good shot. We got oh, it felt so good. You a killer. We must have caught about seven or eight lobsters, but we didn't catch any fish. While we were just sitting there in the middle of the ocean, this guy comes up on a surfboard with fish on the bottom of it. Hey, look at the rockfish. So that's the fish you, you wanted. That's the that's the butterfish. The butterfish, right? Yeah. yeah. Which one is this one? Now he had lionfish, angelfish, conch, parrotfish, anything that you can think of he had in the bottom of his boat. My respect. Respect, all right? Okay. And I think that's the beauty of Jamaica. You know, you can really live off the land and you can live off the sea. If you really want it, you can get it. Push the tempo. This is dope. I mean, we're about to hop off the boat and grill everything that we just caught. Where can you do that? I'm gonna make some uh, jerk snapper real quick. Yeah. And then we're gonna top it with some brown stew sauce. This is a signature at Kith and Ken. You know, so he's doing a jerk and I'm doing like a classic roast fish, um, Jamaican style. We have some roasted sweet plantains and then, then I'm gonna do some extra spicy garlic butter because here in Jamaica, we like it spicy. Cutting into a lobster that I shot, it, it just felt, it felt right. That one is mine, I did that. Me and Andre are side by side, dueling it out on these lobsters. I'm making a garlic rubbed jerk lobster, and he's making a scotch bonnet style lobster. Woo! Feel like we're cooking, bro? Oh yeah. Cheers, bro. Boom. <laughs> From front to end, we have a labor of love. We have Aki and saltfish, fried green plantain, brown stew snapper, Escovich fish, fried lobster, and we have a steamed fish as well. Some hard dough bread, some fresh fruit, and family. Yeah, man, let's do it. We're hungry now. We're hungry, we need to yeah. eat. I heard this is the best shrimp in all of Jamaica. Five hundred for this. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all right, thank you. Take care, all right? You too. Thanks. 
So we have pepper shrimp. This is a quintessential Jamaican delicacy. I remember eating this in the Bronx. They have these in little packs like this and the shrimp is cooked, seasoned aggressively with garlic and scotch bonnet chilies. Oh, this is really spicy. You can see the chilies all in there. That beautiful, pinch that, and there you go. Mm. Perfect. Two thumbs up. Jackie is a local expert on Jamaican food. I mean, she took Anthony Bourdain around the island. She knows her stuff. I'm gonna meet up with Jackie and she's gonna show me the real Kingston. <sighs> Sprouts and dumplings, oh my God. It's like cocktail size Escovich fish. Is it delicious? It's so good. With nice onions and, yeah, and peppers. And peppers. Yeah. It's nice and spicy, but it's right, like- and you could eat the whole thing. This is something that I could eat every morning. <laughs> I keep hearing about Auntie Grace, so let's go check it out. This is the place to get curry chicken. <sighs> Woo! This is what I wanted so bad. You can taste the love in here. The harmony of the curry with the scotch bonnet and the onion and the scallion. It just all comes together. People think like, Curry chicken is a very simple dish. It's not simple if you know how to make it right. And this is good curry. Look at this colorful building. This is Moby Dick. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Curry goat. I'm here for the curry goat. You know, the Muslim community here is alive and it is well. Exactly. And they brought some banging ass curry. Right, and so after African slavery in Jamaica, you know, we had the Indian indentured servants. So some were Hindu, some were Muslim, and a lot of people outside of Jamaica don't know that. What is the Jamaican saying? Out, out, of, out men, of many, many one people. One exactly. people. Okay. Oh, thank you. This is beautiful. Oh, my God, that's a picture. Oh, yeah, that's good. You see? <laughs> it's nice and spicy. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's got so many layers of flavor in there. The goat is so tender. I keep telling everyone, stewed peas is my favorite Jamaican dish. So Jackie is taking me to Sonia's to get the best stewed peas in Kingston. Stewed peas, uh, they're red beans, they're braised with pigtails, some dumpling. It's a dish that I grew up eating in the Bronx. I'm really excited about this meal. They make theirs a little bit differently. They add coconut milk. So it's more rich, but it still has that amazing mouthfeel because of the pigtails. We stop at the market and get yes, some stuff for tonight? Yes, yes, yeah? yes. We're heading to Coronation Market. This place is full of energy. set out to get ginger and fresh aki and maybe some sorrel, but it's like being in Target when you're in there. You go for one thing and then you walk out with so much stuff. This, we need your help, yo. We gotta get Kalalu and aki and that's it. Yeah. No more. Yeah. You, you came here hungry, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So this is a special moment for me because I've only grown up eating canned aki. Aki is actually forbidden from being exported because of its poisonous properties. So here we have fresh aki. So this part is inedible. This is the seed that protrudes out and when it busts open like this, that's when it's ripe and ready to eat. It's electric in here. You can't, you can't not feel good in here. This market was unlike anything I've ever seen in my entire life. Hey, who's gonna eat all this? Who's gonna eat all this food? I don't know. So we get to the house and I meet Chef Alex and he is ready to rock. So this is one of the best chefs on the island. Yeah. He's gonna show me how to make a couple dishes. He's preparing for us curry tripe and bean, cow foot, brown stew chicken, turn cornmeal, fresh aki and saltfish, sorrel, and rasta rice. This type of Jamaican food is from? Way back. Grandmother, grandmother, grandmother. 
This smells so good, we haven't done anything yet. Now, to some people, this may not look appetizing, but to me, this is everything. He's rinsing the pot out and putting all of that flavor back in. This is real cooking. This is real cooking. Come on, chef. Damn it. This one good? And put it back. <laughs> what you guys are saying in America, that chicken is burned. <laughs> if you serve this to somebody, they will say, oh, you're not finished cook. Yeah. I want it black. Nice, nice. <laughs> this is good as hell. Man, <laughs> <In> respect. <laughs> All right, let's eat, brother. Good job. <laughs> Approval. This has been a labor of love, um, a cultural exploration for me, and I can't be more thankful for everyone sitting at this table. I mean, being at someone's house and having, you know, traditional food is kind of what cooking is all about. It's being in someone's home, breaking bread with them sharing experiences, sharing laughs along the table. There's no way food can be bad when you cook with love, and there's no way you can't make a connection when you all eat together. All right, look what I found. Oh my God! I've been wanting oxtail this whole trip, and every place we went to, they ran out of it. I mean, this is a great day for many reasons. I mean, the main reason is I've had oxtail, but I'm also cooking for a very special person, uh, Dr. Hines. She is an educator, she is a leader in Chicago. She also happens to be Common's mom, which is pretty cool. But I'm really honored to be here cooking for her 75th birthday. You know, it's a special occasion. She's got all of her friends and family here, so we're here to make it a great time. We in here. We did it, baby. Almost. More fish, more everything, all right? Come on. Party doubled in size. Catering always doubles in size, and you gotta make it work, so we'll make it happen. One way or the other. Put one jerk chicken out there? Yeah. Yeah, let's put the other one. Let's get another one, season it up, and then let's get it out there. Consistency. Making sure it's perfect. You always have to taste your food every single time. It's gonna go with shrimp. We're gonna put fresh shrimp in there and then on top of rice. What about the shooters? I still need the, the shooters, right? So this thing's supposed to start at five for yeah. passing orders. We have some guests here. Can I just have some servers to start sure. passing some hors d'oeuvres, please? And the, uh, yeah. I'm gonna start passing hors d'oeuvres, okay? Because so, guests are here, okay? So let's start passing those hors d'oeuvres. Where's my shot glasses, bro? Bang. All right, we got this shit. Definitely gonna run out of food, but whoever gets it is gonna be very happy. Let's raise our glasses and say happy birthday to the youngest woman in the room. Happy birthday, Grandma, I love you. I say thank you and I love each and every one of you. I really have to thank you. You're gonna be thanking him if you haven't already since you've been tasting his food. Chef Mommy. Me and my stepfather, we don't have the same like musical taste, blah, 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 blah. But man, we all agreed that like, damn, this food is incredible. <laughs> You're an artist. That's yeah. as simple as that. Respect. Respect. Same to you. Respect. Yeah, man. Thank you as well. Whoa, job bless. I'm not gone. Job bless. Remember? Job bless. Job bless. Job bless. Job bless. What me about Jamaica was just the amount of sheer happiness and beauty in the people that are here. I mean, everywhere I went, 
people were just so nice and inviting and warm and welcoming. And it makes me want to come back over and over again.